This is our first experiment to have a look at something which oscillates. And you're going to have to hunt around your house to try and find some equipment that you can make one with. So <clears throat> I used my children's music stand to make a convenient stand, two bits of wool or string, and then I used a spoon. But any long metal object would work well. It, really, it's meant to be a kind of thin cylinder, like a pencil-shaped uh, piece of metal, but a long spoon like this will work quite well. Okay, so to start this in its oscillating motion, what you need to do is pull one side about a centimetre towards you and push one side about a centimetre away and start it oscillating. And you can see it's doing a twisting motion um, and that's what we're really looking for. And the aim is to measure the time period of this so-called bifilar pendulum. But the time period is the time for one complete oscillation before the cycle repeats itself. But because it's quite quick, uh, it's going to be much more accurate if we measure the time for five complete oscillations. So obviously you'll need a stopwatch, which you can use on your phone, or if you actually have a stopwatch you can use that. And so if Anna could start its swinging in the same way as before, one side towards, one away. And then when it started swinging, we can press the stopwatch and go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And <clears throat> we've timed five oscillations, and then we can divide that by 5 to get the time period for one oscillation. So what I'd like you to do is to try and do that and measure the time period by counting the time or measuring the time for five oscillations, and then either just wait until the amplitude, the size, the oscillations get smaller, and then time it again, or start it with slightly different amplitudes. So I could just time it again. It could go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and see whether the time period is different or the same as before. Once you've finished the experiment to try and change, oh sorry, to measure the time period by measuring five time periods and divided by five at various different amplitudes, then if you want you can try changing some other variables to see how it might affect the time period. So you could try moving the string further apart or closer together. You could try with different objects if you had a longer or shorter spoon and see how that affects it.